Yo guys, Spiderbot here. I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Uh, kind of, I guess you can call it a filler video for today uh, before we get into or back into the tactical video starting tomorrow. But um, got some Black Ops 2 backdrop. We're actually going to be talking about yeah. Black Ops 2 in this video, so it's kind of fitting, right? Uh, <laughs> a couple of rounds of search where we're actually down a few rounds. Uh, this one we're down, end up being down uh, two rounds to nothing at the end of it. But uh, the first thing I want to talk about was the, um, there's some questions that came up in my video yesterday about the Revolution DLC and the Peacekeeper SMG DLC. So there's going to be a new weapon added uh, when the DLC comes out on January 29th for Xbox and February 28th for PS3 and PC. Uh, so people were asking, well, do I get to keep my diamond camo? If I have diamond camo for the SMGs, meaning, okay, I've unlocked gold camo for every single SMG, therefore unlocking my diamond camo, how is that going to be impacted with the Peacekeeper? Now, you know, obviously I don't have uh, detailed information directly from Treyarch, but here are my thoughts about uh, the SMG DLC, the, the Peacekeeper. It will be added to the SMG class, obviously. Um, and, you know, for people that don't have the DLC, I mean, you obviously won't be able to select it in your class configuration, but uh, my guess is that you'll be able to pick it up. Like, if, if you're playing against somebody, like, it will be added in as a patch for everybody, but will uh, it will only be available for people that have the DLC to configure in their class configuration as a primary weapon. Um, if somebody drops it on the battlefield, you'll be able to pick it up if you don't have the DLC. Also, I, I don't think they're going to take away diamond camo. I think it's just going to be it's a separate gun. You'll you'll maintain your diamond camo for all the other SMGs, um, and then you'll be able to unlock up to gold potentially for your Peacekeeper SMG. I don't, you know, <laughs> if they actually took away diamond camo, that would kind of suck. Um, it'd be like almost like a slap in the face. You work pretty hard. Supposedly, or at least most of you worked pretty hard. Uh, some of you probably boosted to get it, but most of you probably worked worked hard to get it, right? Um, you know, I don't think they're going to take that away. I don't think they're going to take anything away. And you saw me, you know, the, the four kills I got were the hardest ones. The easiest kill to get, I actually got killed. And here's the kill cam of me getting killed, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I think uh, you're going to keep your diamond camo and y you'll be unlocking up to gold for the Peacekeeper SMG. And then once you have gold, then you'll have diamond camo on your Peacekeeper SMG. But those are just my thoughts. So the second topic that I want to talk about, um, and I'll put, I'll give you a link to a news article about it, but a Black Ops 2 community abuse forces the top, top player on Xbox 360 to reset his stats, his or her stats. Uh, and this is really unfortunate. I mean, this is a, a pretty bad story and just goes to show you uh, how some of the community can be real assholes and, you know, basically force a player to have to reset his stats because he's continually getting attacked. And I'll read a little bit from the article. One of the highest scoring Call of Duty Black Ops 2 players in the U.S. has decided to reset his stats following an onslaught of abuse from jealous players, reports suggest. A player by the name of uh, Retro Minano who is cited in the media as the number one ranked... I mean, it doesn't help that they're posting this article with his gamer tag, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, he was the number one ranked Black Ops 2 player on the Xbox 360, and he hasn't been able to log into his account because of DDoS attacks, and those are basically distributed denial-of-service attacts on his... Uh, I, I don't quite understand if it's on his actual internet connection at home or something. I guess somehow people found out what his, uh, his IP address was. Uh, according to the, there was information published on Reddit, he uh, had also been subjected to personal harassment uh, when going online. So I just actually went on to his Call Elite profile, and he has indeed reset his stats. He's ranking back up. He hasn't hit first prestige yet. Time's Looks to be a pr up. like a pretty solid player as well. And it's real unfortunate that the community has, has kind of forced him to do this, particularly if... You know, it was all legit. I mean, I could see people harassing somebody if uh, they got to top the leaderboards uh, for hacking or for cheating or boosting or whatever. But if it's legit, I, I don't understand. You know, especially the DDoS, that's that's illegal. I mean, you can go to jail for that. Um, harassment, yeah, I mean, there, there are obviously I have issues with that. And I don't know if it's because of the proliferation of harassment videos on uh, YouTube or not. But, uh, you know, people call them trolling harassment, whatever, but real, real unfortunate that the community has forced this individual to reset his stats simply because he was on the top of the leaderboards and people didn't like it. Anyways, those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think 
I'll see you tomorrow with an NGT tactical insertion, baby. Yeah, spat about out.